Welcome to Do It For The Gram, an Enneagram podcast with your host, certified Enneagram coach, Milton Stewart, where we do it for the Enneagram, not Instagram. We make moves to improve our lives and those in our community. So this year, I got a lot of different things I have planned out to come throughout the year. And what I'm going to start with is I'm going to start with the thing called passions. Um, of each type, the passions, the vice, the emotional patterns. I'm going to break that down a little bit, but I wanted to start with that because this year I also wanted to teach um, the subtypes of each number so that um, people can get even more granular and specific on their specific type and their pattern. And really to understand the subtype, you need to understand the passion, vice slash emotional pattern. So in these episodes, in this series we got coming up, it's just going to be about the passion, the vice, and the emotional pattern of each type. So we're going to go ahead and get into it. Let's go intro music. All right, so you may be wondering, what is the passion, vice, or emotional pattern of your Enneagram type? Because you may have seen the different things and maybe not fully understand it. So what is the passion, vice, or emotional pattern? The passion, vice, or emotional pattern all represent the same thing and are used interchangeably throughout Enneagram teaching and books. The passion, vice, or emotional pattern is a specific habit that each type has that flares up hardcore. Unfortunately, the passion, vice, or emotional pattern can be so automatic or native to the way you interact with the world, you may barely notice it's happening or not even recognize it when it's happening. You may say, that is just the way I am, or I am this kind of person without really examining why you react the way you do in certain situations. The Latin root word for passion is passio, which means suffering. The connotation of passion now is more of an intense care or enthusiasm for something, but the root meaning of the word passion is actually suffering. That is why it is used in many Enneagram circles, and especially those who built the foundation of Enneagram years and years and years and years and years and years ago. The passion of each number is something we all are suffering or must endure through our lives. It does not mean suffer as in being excruciating pain, but more of a habit that seems to trap us and keep us and can lead us into pain within our lives. The Latin word for vice is vitium, hope I said that right, which means flaw, defect, fault, or error. Emotional pattern is a more new age term that I believe describes it well and makes it easier to communicate to people in our generation. I do not want to abandon the word passion or vice because they make a statement that this emotional pattern we struggle with is something we must work on. And it's not just a jolly old emotion. So throughout this, I will use them interchangeably throughout this whole episode so you can get a grasp on the language as well. Why is the passion, vice, emotional pattern important? Because the Enneagram is a growth tool, a growth tool. Many times people get caught in just getting the knowledge of it and seeing some of the patterns, but do not apply it to themselves in a way that helps them grow. When you start to notice and become aware your, of your passion, you realize when you may be moving towards unhealthiness and your type structure may be about to take over and react in an ad- automatic habitual behavior instead of choosing the action you want to make. Disrupting your vice allows you to make better choices for your life and just maybe get the things you really want out of life and not settling for a knockoff, counterfeit, faux, or fake version of it. Quick, easy example. If you are looking for affection, attention, and love, but you settle for sex, which will never hit the mark of what you're really longing for, that is more of an extreme example, but this is the case for many areas in our lives. The power of the Enneagram is the internal work. Internal work is not like external work which is usually fast and caught up in what others think, say, and do. Internal awareness is slower, quieter, more challenging, and way harder than external work. Why do you think so few people intentionally change for the better? Unless something chaotic brings it to their attention that they must change. 
It is not easy, but if you are here, then you must be one of the people working on engaging in the challenging journey of internal work. Recognizing your emotional pattern is important if you want to dive into internal work and truly change your life for the better. All right, so you're probably wondering, what is my type's passion? So remember, in this episode, some of this may seem a little harsh for the simple fact that I am talking about the Enneagram as a growth tool. So we're using it as a way to help us grow and not just look at ourselves and say, oh, look at me, I'm this number. So I'm using it as a growth tool. So some things may sound a little harsh. Um, I don't think it's really that harsh, but it will talk about some things that the nine needs to work on when it comes to emotional pattern. Here we go. What is my type passion? For the Enneagram 9, the passion, vice, and emotional pattern of the type 9 is laziness. This is not necessarily a slothful laying around all the time watching TV. Laziness is, for the 9, can actually look like a person who's super busy. This laziness in the 9 is actually a laziness to themselves and their personal ambition, desires, and want in life. 9s find a way to make someone else, a group, or something else more important than themselves. When the vice of laziness kicks in, This is often seen when a nine gets fired up to accomplish something or achieve a goal. When the internal adversity comes, meaning that there is a battle within the nine to address themselves, they struggle and fall asleep to that goal. It is a pattern. Many of my coaching clients that are type nines and I have learned that in order to keep a nine in the coaching process to achieve their goal, we must schedule sessions consistently every two months in advance or the nine will somehow fall asleep to the goal and just kind of taper off from doing it or believing they don't want to achieve that goal, though they actually do deep down. The laziness to themselves actually works well at the beginning of relationships, especially with an unhealthy and self-centered people, because it seems like the nine likes to do all the stuff the other person or people want to do, because the emotional pattern of laziness to themselves is making them just merge with the other person. Or people are like, They like to do what I like to do when I actually deny is just getting caught up in laziness. Down the road, though, this does not work out well in relationships because nines still have anger and constantly minimizing themselves gets old at some point. And then the nine becomes quite passive aggressive. And if issues are not addressed, then they could become explosive and that anger will come out eventually. So how did I get this passion? It all starts as a child. Somewhere in childhood, The nine got the message, if I go along, everything will be better. If I don't really say much, everything will be fine. The peace and the harmony will be kept if I just don't really say how I feel or say anything. And this has a lot of reasons for a lot of different nines and a lot of things that may have happened in the past for nines. All right, what can I do when I notice my passion is rearing its ugly head? When you notice your emotional pattern, vice, or passion of laziness is rearing its head, it's time to take some deep breaths. Breathe in and down. And for the nine, this is a little different because nines need to breathe a little bit into their chest. They're one of the few that is a little awkward or different in the way that they have a breathing technique because they don't breathe in their chest as often as they breathe into their bellies. So um, to fire up some of that energy, you have to also breathe into your chest more as an Enneagram nine. Sometimes nines really do not care about certain decisions, but when it comes to consistent not, not caring with certain people or groups, Then it's an indicator the passion of laziness is at play. As a nine, you have to question yourself. Am I being lazy to myself and what I actually want? If so, why am I doing this? Can I state how I really feel, think, and maintain this connection? This can be hard for a nine because of multiple reasons. The first reason is that forms of disconnection somatically, aka their body, are very uncomfortable for nines. And nines also have to come in contact with the emotions involved with anger to know their own boundaries and what they really want out of life. Because anger brings a certain energy to that emotion, an energy to get up and do something and to um, move and achieve something. So um, getting in touch with that is going to be very powerful for the nine. So that's all I have for this episode. It's pretty short, sweet, to the point. Um, some quick reminders. My patron goal as of today is still about $20 short for completely paying for a podcast editor for all the episodes. So I'm super excited about that. Podcast is free for listeners, but not free for podcast creators. And so if I can do get that paid for, then I can do better at creating content, studying the Enneagram so I can bring you more beneficial content. And I want to give a shout out to patron supporter Candace Griffin. Thanks for the support. Um, and patron, you helped to support to get this podcast episode going. 
Thank you so much in keeping this podcast going. Thank you, Candace Griffin. All right, Foundations to the Enneagram Workshop. I have one coming up March 28th. I don't think this episode will be out yet, or this will be the week of maybe. And I would love for you to be there. Uh, the last workshop was absolutely amazing. Uh, all attendees were engaged and they couldn't wait for part two. And so I'm very excited for that. So if you want to sign up for that, go to kaizencareers.com forward slash events. Also, if your organization needs coaching, consulting, doing a retreat or a workshop on the Enneagram to help the culture and everybody know each other, uh, I definitely do that. And you can contact me at milton at kaizencareers.com or you can go to kaizencareers.com, Enneagram coaching or career coaching or consulting and go to the interest button and click there and put in the information. I'll get it. And within 48 hours, I will contact you and we can work out the details and see what we can do together to make this world a better place. And lastly, Enneagram nines, if your emotional pattern, vice, passion or laziness is invading you before you react out of strong nines, take some deep breaths in your nose, out through your mouth slowly, and ask yourself, am I being lazy to myself and what I actually want? If so, why am I doing this? Can I state how I really feel, think, and maintain this connection? And do it for the gram, the Enneagram, of course, and make a healthy choice. 